Hello, Earl Pugh here. Um, today I'm looking again at the G-Run. Last time we looked at the G-Run, we did it going across the neck. And uh, we did it going uh, up and down the neck. Uh, today we're going to uh, do it going across the neck, but um, we're going to do it in all 12 keys or on all 12 major chords. So I recommend that uh, you use a metronome. Um, And uh, that you play the chord, uh, the arpeggio, and then play the G run, and just sort of see how uh, it lays out on on the guitar uh, using open strings. So we'd have a G, a B, a D, and a G. And the G run, we start on the G. We use chromatic motion to get into the B, and then we go five six five. And then the one. So we get a, a one octave lick. Uh, it takes up uh, five beats. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Um, so um, if we do it on A flat, A flat, C, E flat, A flat. If we do it on A, A, C sharp, E, A. Uh, B flat, B flat, D, F, B flat. So the shape there is a little, a little interesting. Um, you know, we're going to use the open D, um, so the chromatic into the open D is a C, C sharp, D, and then the G is going to be open. So it just doesn't, it doesn't look the same as the others. So um, it's not more difficult uh, to play, but uh, you need to know how does it lay out. Uh, B, B, D sharp, F sharp, open B. C. C sharp. D. I'm actually going to move up a fret to do the D. It just it lays out nicer uh, for my fingers. E flat, um, E flat, G, B flat, E flat. Uh, e, E, G sharp, B, E. C, F. And F sharp. F sharp. A sharp. C sharp. F sharp. And we're back to G. G. B. D. G. So the, uh, the G run uh, can be used um, on uh, any major chord in a major key. Uh, it'll fit a dominant seventh chord, uh, so you could play the G run over a G7. Um, it will fit a major seven chord, it will fit a six chord, and it will fit the triad. So it's really uh, kind of a, a universal lick, kind of the uh, Swiss army knife of guitar licks uh, in, in a country style. So, so I recommend that you get comfortable with this 
this lick uh, going across the guitar uh, in all keys. Uh, moving up the guitar, is easier because we just we just start a fret higher to get A flat. But when we uh, play it down here, um, across the guitar, instead of along the fingerboard, um, you know you have to deal with a new pattern, and that uh, gives you a different way to think about uh, the instrument, and also a different way to to think about how you might want to use uh, the open strings in different keys. Next time we'll uh, we'll take the G run and use only that over uh, over a chord progression, and you can see that uh, it will uh, it'll sound a little mechanical, but it will actually work. It'll get you through the night. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial on the G run. I hope it gets you to uh, to think about uh, being able to play it over uh, every chord. Um, so. Uh, Please give me a like, please consider subscribing, and have a good week. Thank you very much.